Do you think the arrow of time can be reversed? There have been reports that entropy can be reversed on a microscopic scale, which can in which in turn can reverse the flow of time. If it can be done on a micro scale, isn't it a matter of time until we get a major breakthrough on the macroscopic scale? Wouldn't that violate the second law of thermodynamics? Okay, good question. Entropy is a measure of the statistical disorder of any system, right? So we can definitely reverse entropy on a small scale. For example, I have um, you, you can have a crystal or you can have a, a, a bottle. So this is a very orderly structure. It is a man-made uh, object. There is no disorder in this uh, except for the water. If I empty the water, then it's a very ordered system. Of course, it will have oxygen molecules, <laughs> air molecules and all. But you get my point. So we can create local uh, regions of low gravity. Our brain is the lowest of low entropy. Sorry. Our human brain is the most complex and most powerful biological computer or any kind of computer known in known to us in the known universe. So that is a region of incredibly low entropy because it is so well ordered. So you can have localized regions of very low entropy. And yet, to produce a local small region of low entropy, you have to, it, it is inevitable that to produce low entropy local locally, you will end up increasing the entropy of the overall system that you're in. So we, we are part of the environment that we are in. We have an atmosphere. So to produce something like a plastic bottle, you have to do some melting of, of plastic and some other mechanical processes, which produce heat and heat is uh, which it, it increases the the entropy of the atmosphere so no matter what process you do you may be able to decrease the entropy at a local level but you will overall in the system end up increasing its entropy or at the very best keeping the entropy the same so so that's the answer to your question it can be reversed or in, on a on a small scale but it cannot reverse the um, okay about the flow of time so it's a hypothesis that time is related to entropy, that time may be an, an emergent phenomenon. It's a hypothesis. We don't know if it's true or not. We don't have any valid or coherent or well-accepted uh, theory of time. We don't know if it is a fundamental property of the universe, whether it's an emergent phenomenon, whether... Uh, you have you may whether you can have molecules or atoms of time. We it it appears that time doesn't even exist to some extent on at the quantum scale. Past, present, and future seem to be I mean uh, mean, meaningless concepts at the quantum level too. So we don't really know what time is. It is a great mystery. It is one of the big mysteries of physics. And is it connected to entropy? Is it connected to thermodynamics? There are certain speculations and hypotheses, but there is no actual uh, uh, falsifiable theory of this. So we don't know. I don't know if it is, uh, as of now, without sufficient data, I cannot say yes or no either way. Maybe, right? So I don't know if the arrow of time can be reversed. It is uh, possible that you may have an anti-universe in which time flows backwards. So there is this uh, problem called the baryon asymmetry problem. We only see matter in the universe. We don't see any antimatter. But the universe according to all the known theories, should have produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter. So where is all the antimatter? So there is a theory that, there is, that the Big Bang produced two universes, a, posit a universe and an anti-universe. The universe that we are in is full of regular matter and the our counterpart, counterpart anti-universe has antimatter and maybe the time, the era of time for flows in the opposite direction in that universe. So that again is a hypothesis. It's just a theory. We have no way of uh, either proving it or falsifying it. So as of now, with the understanding of the laws of nature that we have, this question about the era of time cannot be answered at this stage. We are still taking baby steps in our understanding of the phenomenon of time.